Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. This is going to be a quick demo of what you can do with the Edge on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So basically, the curved Edge display on the phone is not just for style. It can act like a shortcut to contacts, apps, web pages, and so on. When you pull this tab here at the side, and you may do so from almost any screen, you are given several Edge panels. Then you may switch between them by swiping right or left. And by the way, these panels and the whole Edge menu are customizable. The tab itself can be on the right or on the left side, whichever you prefer. It can also be moved up or down for your convenience. These Edge panels can be rearranged, you may disable the ones that you don't need, you may add new ones that you like. You can even download more panels made by Samsung or third-party developers. So by default you get Edge panels for your favorite contacts, for favorite applications, there's a panel showing you popular news, you also get the so-called Tasks panel, which is essentially a customizable list of shortcuts to specific modes. For example, you may put a shortcut to the camera's panorama mode or a shortcut to your bookmarks in the web browser. And this is the Quick Tools panel giving you a compass, your current location, and of all things, a ruler for measuring things. There are even more panels to choose from by going to the settings menu. You may add a weather panel, a list of web page shortcuts, there's a panel giving you scores for sports games, you may follow stocks, prices, and so on. So that is the new Edge user interface on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It has been greatly improved compared to what we had on the Galaxy S6 Edge. With all of these new panels and options, it feels a lot more useful now. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and visit our website phonearena.com for more coverage from Mobile World Congress 2016.